Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My girlfriend's controlling dad banned Maine from their house. Now she's finally moved in with me to escape the toxicity. So, I'm 23, and I've been dating this girl for about a year and three months now. When we first started dating, she warned me that her parents, especially her dad, were kind of crazy. At first, I thought she was just exaggerating, but man, was she not joking. In the beginning, everything seemed cool. There weren't any major issues with her family, and she told me they actually liked me. Her dad, though? He's one of those my way or the highway types. He's super strict and controlling, like he has this crazy amount of influence over her. She's got a curfew and staying over at my place. Yeah, that's absolutely out of the question. I mean, I get it. She still lives at home, and I try to respect that, but sometimes it just feels like too much. She's not even allowed to come with me on weekend trips with my family, even though her parents are invited to come too. There was this one time, though, when he said yes to her joining us on a camping trip. But boy, did that go south fast. So, we're out there, just about to fall asleep, when she gets a text from her mom saying to call her immediately. The cell service where we were camping was spotty, so we had to rush out to the road to get enough signal to make the call. When she finally reaches her mom, we find out that she's already on her way to pick her up. Like we'd literally driven past her mom on the road and didn't even realize it was her. Apparently her dad decided he didn't want her to stay on the trip after all. No reason, he just changed his mind and sent her mom five hours out to get her. Of course, at first we thought something terrible had happened. I mean, why else would someone drive all that way in the middle of the night? Turns out nothing was wrong, he just regretted letting her come. So, we stand there for two hours while her mom lays into me, criticizing me for things as dumb as the kind of music I listen to. And let me remind you, her parents were invited on this trip, but they chose not to come. They ended up staying the night with us, but her mom left before the sun was even up because she didn't want to be seen. When my girlfriend got home that weekend, her mom was in trouble with her dad for going to get her. You know, because that would have made him look bad for going back on his word. And my girlfriend? She was in trouble too for not listening to her mom. It's nuts, right? And that's not even the worst part. But now her mom's always been pretty nice to me. She's made me coffee, sent me home with leftovers, it's been chill. Her dad, on the other hand, has been polite to my face but always seems to have something to say behind my back, like he'll complain to her about random stuff, like the car I drive. It's not a Toyota, so apparently that's a problem? Seriously? So family day comes around and I invite her parents to go at Ving with my family at my dad's place. I've invited them before, but this time they actually agree to come. But the morning of, her dad suddenly decides he doesn't feel well and backs out, which was fine, I wasn't gonna pressure him. He tells her mom she can still go though, so she packs up the ATVs, loads the truck, and gets ready to head out. Then, right as they're about to leave, her dad starts telling her mom that it's not a good idea for her to go because she's never towed that specific trailer with that truck before. Keep in mind, she's been driving big trucks and trailers for over 30 years. They used to own a landscaping company together. But of course, she starts second-guessing herself and ends up bailing on the trip. Even though she decided not to tow the trailer, she still came up to join us, and we had an awesome day. But when she got home, her dad was furious that she went without him. He ended up kicking her out of the house. She stayed at a friend's place for a few days and then went back to talk things through with him. That's when my girlfriend overheard them talking about me well, more like him yelling at her mom. He was accusing her mom of emotionally cheating on him with me because of how nice she's been to me. You know, like making me coffee or sending me home with leftovers. Apparently that's a big issue because, in his eyes, I haven't put in the work yet. Whatever that even means, it's gotten to the point where he's basically mentally abusing everyone. He's playing these mind games, trying to get them to do whatever he wants. Nobody's allowed to have their own opinions or make their own decisions. Recently he told me I'm not welcome at their house anymore, which sucks because my girlfriend and I live about an hour apart. In the past he complained that I didn't come around enough, and now he's banning me for no real reason just because her mom's been nice to me. It's not even just that. Her parents don't even sleep in the same bed anymore. One night, her mom tried sleeping in the bed I usually sleep in when I stay over, and her dad lost it. He accused her of only sleeping there because I did. He got so mad he punched a hole in the door while she was trying to sleep. When they listen to him and do exactly what he says, everything's fine. But the second they go against him, it's like the whole world falls apart. There have been so many situations like this over the years. My girlfriend's mom has been kicked out of the house so many times, all for reasons as petty as this. Everyone tells her she should leave him me my family, her family, even her boss. She called a women's shelter once, and they told her to leave too. But she won't. I've given up trying to convince her. Recently, her mom booked a trip for her and my girlfriend to go to England to visit her own mother, who's battling cancer. 
She hasn't seen her in over 10 years. But after the whole family day situation, her dad made her cancel the trip. He told her that if she went, it would mean she didn't love him. And so she canceled it. My girlfriend was devastated. I mean, she's heartbroken over it. There's honestly so much more to this. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. My girlfriend and I are okay, but her dad's constant manipulation keeps sucking her back in. He makes her feel like a terrible daughter, and he constantly tells her mom she's stupid for letting her date me. I recently told her she could move in with me to get away from all this, but she seems hesitant to leave her parents behind. I get it, it's her family, but at the same time, I'm not sure how much longer I can deal with all of this. I don't want to be the guy who walks away from a relationship because of her parents. But I can't see a future where I'm constantly dealing with this level of drama. It's not just about me anymore. I can't imagine bringing future kids into this situation, constantly worrying about her family's next blow up. So, I sat her down and told her how I've been feeling. I explained how much her family's drama stresses me out and how I don't see a happy future for us if things don't change. I love her. But I also need to protect myself. She was upset, of course. She reminded me that I'd promised not to leave her because of her parents, and the guilt hit me hard. But I told her that I'm not just thinking about us anymore. I don't want to bring future kids into this kind of toxic environment. My days shouldn't be spent worrying about what her parents are going to do next. Something must have clicked for her because she finally asked if the offer to move in was still on the table. I told her it was, of course. And she said she couldn't bear the thought of losing me over her parents. She didn't want to keep going backward, so she packed up her things and moved in with me. She told her dad off before leaving, and now we're unpacking her stuff and settling in together. She's agreed to limit contact with her parents and make sure that any relationship she has with them won't involve me unless we both agree. And honestly, I think this is a huge step for us. I finally feel like we've got a shot at a real future together. Relevant comments. Commenter NTA. Her father is a problem, not her or you. He's also not going to change, but she's not ready to leave home yet because it's very hard to leave an abusive situation even if you are an adult. Op reply, she has shared that fear with me before. That she's afraid everything will crumble if she's not there and that her mom will bear the brunt of the fallout. I think she once described it as being afraid her mom will be punished for her gaining her freedom commenter. Perhaps your GF is scared to leave her mom alone with him? Does your GF have any siblings? The dad seems a massive bully and mom is copying his awful behavior in a bid to appease him. There's nothing you can do to fix or change this situation for your GF or her mom without them first taking steps to leave this horrid man. You can either suck up the difficult situation, or perhaps end it but say that if they she ever want to change their circumstances you will help them any way you can. Op reply she's an only child. I think she feels bad leaving her mum behind or like feels obligated to stay with her family. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.